Hello guys, welcome to Pentest Stress Club. Today we are going to discuss about some uh, new topic SS7. What is SS7? SS7 is like uh, signaling and system. So we can see here SS7 is a signaling and system. It is a set of telephony signals and protocol developed in 1975 which was used to set up some uh, tear down telephone calls and uh, messages and uh, from the worldwide through a public switch telephone network. So with SS7, what is, uh, how this SS7 will work? SS7 will work on the OSI model uh, data, okay, like a physical layer, network layer, data layer, application layer. With this OSI, uh, OSI model with the application layer, it will be run. So we will look it out how this will work. So, let's see. OSI models. This is the seven layers of OSI model. First layer is physical layer, data layer, network layer, transportation layer, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. So you can see here, physical layer will access the media of the data. So in the data link layer, we can access the physical addressing. Network layer, we can uh, get the logical addressing, like uh, some client's address. So I sent to one of my friend, uh, like SMS so you want to get to know that one so in network layer have you the logical addressing so whom to whom transport layer transport layer will give to end to end connections like uh, uh, how crypto will work like a peer to peer connections in this like end to end connections Sh session layer in the session layer we need to scan like a particular and uh, Send your sender port address what is the message delivered to the receiver like this and presentation layer like a data formatting so uh, what I send so in the presentation layer it will be displayed and the application layer network process to the application layer whatever the uh, six layers we can uh, uh, check now it will be displayed in the application layer okay so we can discuss now uh, more things about uh, practical training with SS7 and international signaling system defines the PST and internationally SS7 called signaling points the SS7 stands is known as a result of a proprietary signaling set so I saw something functionality This is a text, text messages. There are three types of signaling points in SS7. So, one second. Standard service like a SSPS signal transmission point and STPS and SCPS and SSP points initiate to call. So we can do with the SS7 like these things created by AT&T in uh, 1975 adapted in standard in 1980. SS7 in North America, C7 utilized outside of North America. So caller ID, SMS, call block, many other services we can use through SS7.
so we can see the signal transfer point so router s7 messages between s7 nodes and stp access to control and filtering capabilities ssp service switching points carrier telephone switch at the process various uh, end points with a pstn service like voice fax so if i call to my girlfriend and uh, some ex of the middle person want to listen that one okay so you can access through ssp that one so service control point so integrate the ss7 network with the database and the contains information regarding the services such as like uh, 800 numbers mobile subscribers calling cards uh, other services in the worldwide okay there are like uh, more than 800 above like 886 uh, uh, mobile services is there like uh, if telephone will come like means uh, if it come to chennai okay it's called uh, 040 if it come to bangalore okay 080 uh, it's a like a somewhat telephone uh, uh, address port protocols like uh, some xyz protocols like uh, if you are in london you can use like uh, 0078 like this yes the seven network architecture so you can look it out here the stp links and stp stp and ssp ssp is here ssp is directly to connected to here a link layer with ssp e link so you can look it out cellular network architecture how it will work so here is my pstn ss7 server so msc vlr and other msc vlr so i use uh, my mobile phone and uh, from my mobile phone basic station controller with the network sim so i can use like airtel vodafone uh, uh, atnt and some other things so there is like a base tra uh, trans receiver stations like a cell phone tower is like a base transition river with this uh, base controllers uh, controller with this operating this base controller uh, will directly report to the operation support to the sub subsystems and mobile switching center so there is uh, also will do with the hub like uh, hlr home location registers uh, this is under all come with uh, an, an hub so once it will give so i will give on hardware to how to extract these details and everything so uh, home location registers the mobile switching center will uh, gives the hlr home location service center and authentication center and uh, which will give to the visitor locations of the register and uh, equipment identify uh, identity registers so i want to track some uh, persons locations so first uh, i take my uh, device like ss7 device so i connected to the pc and i launch my uh, uh, programming once i launch the programming i need to connect through the 3g or 4g uh, cellular gsm network once i connect to the cellular gsm network then uh, i need to go through the base station controller once i access the base uh, station controller in a particular region okay uh, the frequencies may be like a uh, 3500 maximum which will be uh, Uh, hardware device so you can set your own frequencies once you set with that uh, base controller uh, it will give to the mobile switching with that mobile switching you can uh, get the home location register so i can get uh, some xyz persons like uh, one one telephone phone number i stay in new york okay i uh, with my phone number i can trace uh, my friend phone number so he stays in california so with the uh, home location register i can enter the location address okay of the phone number so it will give the home location register address and it will give home location address once i enter here over there the authentication center will give the access to the location and i can get after with the mobile switching it will give the client give respond and uh, uh, call back options like if i request and response back uh, it will work the mobile switching in this operating mode and the 
Once I get the response through the mobile switch, I get the visitor location register and equipment ID. With that equipment ID, like uh, I get in Google ID with the uh, uh, location pin, long, longitude and longitude. With this, I can go to the Google Maps and enter the location. So with that location, we got the points like uh, my friend location. So with this, I can access the my friend location where he track and where he go. So this is S7 packet capture. So you can use uh, hardware. I will show you later. Uh, so, uh, so you can call the party like uh, call phone number and you can listen and uh, monitor with the Wireshark also whom you call in the network. SSCP uh, the listening port uh, how you can uh, listening the ports like uh, what he done everything so you can do everything here like call party address 11 bytes address reserved for national use with uh, 0 into 0 double word bytes so telecommunication work uh, communication network architecture so this is like a insertion points like a smart grid data service voice service and video service so in the uh, daily life uh, we can do like uh, in our life like a uh, many like uh, enterprise residentials and uh, telecommunications and uh, water transportations and many peoples can communicate with the mobile without mobile we can't be able to run our daily life okay with the cellular uh, mobile ip okay black hole so we can connect through the cellular tower with that cellular tower with give with the uh, uh, vpn and pe with which will which will be secure from the network itself okay uh, don't think the networks which was used the vpn dvw dm uh, it will be secure so we can access those things with the uh, s7 and uh, we can access through any other things like uh, g ring and uh, star topology and uh, career classes to any telecom services we can access all those things by demanding of bandwidth and driving optical networks growth telecoms so later we can see with the once we come to the even you can access any phone uh, with the direct directly like if you have phone phone by entering the ip address you can access the virtual phone number so once you come to the network management billing ser billing server assurance server providing server and awareness server so Vivo IP means virtual IP gateway. So with the web servers, we need to communicate with the first Vivo IP and SIP uh, proxies and uh, video headers. So Vivo IP means virtually uh, phone numbers. Like I get uh, best Vivo IP phone number is Google Voice. So in this Google Voice, you can call to any one phone number uh, without paying the service fees. You know very very well about these things. So we see now Ysoft switch network. So with the Ysoft switch network, you can see from the internet. Internet gives from the management network with the soft S7 SSCP and Ys transportation network with the uh, ne uh, Five star topology and with this five star topology will use to the ring topology with the backup uh, soft switch to backup EMS. Obtaining international mobile subscriber identity. So international mobile subscriber identity for a subscriber so attacker has a mobile for the target and stp uh, point code so i have a uh, stp point code is like uh, some uh, uh, some things like attacker crafts the s7 messages acting like a short messages service center 
message sent to the subscriber so we can see here message sent to the subscribers and look up for subscriber phone id and current mlc vlr subscriber hlr send response back to here so first i request the data to with the stp okay and it will respond back to the client okay to the attacker attacker now has subscribed the phone number with the imsi uniqlo current msc and vlr hlr address for the subscriber so how we need to identify the subscribers locations so for attackers now have subscribers phone number so i have my phone number is like my phone number is like 956 Uh, my phone number is like nine five six three zero seven nine four one four. So with this phone number, so we can uh, attack the crafts SMS message and querying HQL subscribers. So uh, with this, so from the base station controller, I can send the data to the VLR visitor locations. So message sent to the subscriber to the HLR uh, sends to the message to the VLR current locations. so vlr sends message to the bss means base controller it will sends back to me in the location so once it sends to the bss space subscriber phone hlr sends to the response to the requester side so hlr will send to the vlr to the base to the to any time uh integration is not enabled for many networks today so you can do it by your own risk okay for protecting with hlr performance by security how to identify the subscribers locations and uh, impersonate a uh, home locations uh, re registry so in this uh, graph we can see so attackers now have subscribed the phone number with ismi a uh, uniqlo current msq vlr hlr address and a previous attack crafts with the uh, subscribers so we can see the from the network uh, port so from this so i can send to the vlr or to a request so from the vlr request it will give to the mobile switching center once it sent to the mobile switching center uh, with the stp mode will send to the back to the mobile switching center okay with the vlr send the message to identify the locations okay with the base pages the subscriber phone sends the response to the requesters to the subscribers dialing so with the subscriber dialing so we can get only the main thing like longitude and la uh, longitude address with the longitude and longitude address you can put on that google maps in the search bar and you can get the exact live location of your uh, client so now how to intercept calls and sms with the ss7 so for the main thing so we have our uh, base station uh, network cellular here so with that base station network cellular we are sending the uh, request to the hlr once we send to the hlr request so the hlr request will give to the stp to the request once it sent to the http to request so the client so which i was sent to the uh, message okay uh, i whatever i request the message that message will go through the client go through the client once go through the client it will respond back to the stp to the base station of uh, mobile switching center so once we get to the mobile switching center again it will send to the hlr port hlr home registry once it sent to the hlr home registry and again it will send to the visitor locations with the visitor locations again it will send to back to the base controller locations so in any incoming calls or sms of the soup subscribers will now be routed to be the attackers so attacker can proxy calls to the router subscribers and captures the voice 
communications or just capture the targeted messages. So things for considerations. So what do you need to consider? So I tell you this. Let's see. I close this. So you can look it out this one. This is insulator for SS7 for pen testing tool. So OSCOMS is the more better than the Sigploit uh, better things. So you can use the OSCOMS S7 Slack. So this will give you better uh, good results for your uh, best things. So you can use uh, uh, you can you can get the AP, APK mode also in this and uh, even for using with the IC, ICSMI and uh, Git uh, using through Git also you can use this one. So I will give you now one more thing VLR. So you, we look it out this image. So you can see here. So I will send one call uh, message. So it will be received sending info. So it will be received sending info with the particular results. You can see here. You can You see here and ask uh, again uh, testing for the sending authentication. So I sent to my girlfriend one message. So I need to get uh, that uh, message by without touching my phone. So with the S7, I asked for five vectors and I got some messages. So this will be displayed in the output.txt files and uh, wherever you can get, also you can get. This is the older versions. I strongly believe old is gold. Testing registers and testing update locations. And you can see anytime in interrogations. So testing uh, prog SMS received prog SMS is working. So this is what you can do it here. So SS7 testing on uh, toppers with our uh, telecoms yeah, scared. Eh? It's an additional event for the SS7. You can look it out through here, and I can drop you in the uh, description link. We can back to this, and uh, so this is work on telecom network security and telecom uh, network things. So SSCP points the initiate a call communications and SS7 SCPs determine how to navigate and how to manage certain features with SS7 routed by switching packets called STPs and SCP and STPs are usually paid to stop the two in uh, some cases to continue the service process and researchers in the field of security. Uh, in uh, before past uh, six years in 2014 using s7 security holes in the internet to make a mobile and mobile devices this type of attack is called uh, man in the middle attack you know how the man in, in the middle attack will work so i saw you some belgium provide proxies So I never accept any time for the cookies. So this will give only for the Vivo IP calls with the SS7. So you can look it out this proxies. Now
uh, SS7 exploit is the most advanced encryption. You know that uh, SS7 is the is most popular tool in the pen testing tool. Everyone want uh, in like like a teenage people they ask like uh, like if they are like twenty plus above to thirty plus above they ask hack my girlfriend WhatsApp hack my girlfriend she cheated me so every person will request to some other persons to do these things I will give some bugs I will give some this so this and all nonsense you can do it by your own self okay so I will let you know how to do these things so now. S7 mobile telephony system is the ne necessary to allow the listen for personal calls. Okay, so I can call to my my any of the one of the persons. Okay, I can call to my friend girlfriend. I talk with some X Y Z nonsense things. He don't know, but he want to listen that things. But it never be happen. It will be happen through only the S7. Okay, and read the diary knowing it's a phone number like S7. Uh, or uh, signaling systems number seven is used by 800 telecoms we discussed about the past and operators around the worldwide and uh, other things so the the world exchange information with the uh, agar and cross carrier building billing and other features like mtp standard for message transport part uh, ss7 is made up of four layers is the first layer for mtp level one so we can look it out here having mtp level level mtp black hat .com. so we can look it out this black hat our the presentations of uh uip security pst and uip descent the security basis video calls even you can get the video calls with the clients you can monitor that uh video calls and everything in the through ss7 with over 29 million skype users online day uh, skype is the best vip uh, service provider so you can access with the skype ids and you can look it out over there and peer to peer vip clients is the best is skype and uh, uh, again is face tap and uh, even now is like uh, you can get the zoom google meetings and uh, Micro thing security focus.com brief VYP and it's a 1 million towards RST published in 2006 to 69. At least 15 internet phone companies were hacked, of which suffered from most more than 300,000 losses. The result of attacks. We can see next thing is adaptive mobile presence. Uh, once we come to the level 2, equipment of the data free communication without uh, signaling and third layer showing the occurrence of the error or trouble shooting. The third layer is MTP level 3. This and all references. So uh, we told you about discussion about the uh, MTP level. We can see here in the physical level how MTP level 1. MTP level 1 what will be do the physical layer so we discuss about physical layer in the one so on the data link layer of the MPT level 2 uh, it is the equivalent of the data freeze like uh, you whatever the data so whatever I talk with uh, my girlfriend okay some XYZ person want to listen so yeah the data will be stored in the data link layer with the MTP level 2 okay and uh, Network. So, from which carrier I am using? AT&T or Sprint, or else version or uh, Airtel, Vodafone, or XYZ. So, with the MT MTP level three, we can get it in this whole over, uh, overload database, and uh, it will be override or uh, override also. 
it may show sometimes uh, troubleshoot and everything so once we come to the scp with the um, under the trans transport layer so what if you want to get the data of what we talk okay we can get through the transportation with the scp in the uh, OSI models so in the session layer so and presentation layer and application layer so this and all need to present to get and get the access and get the what information we talk with my girlfriend so you can use with that tc tcap and uh, isup and tup in the fourth layer so in the four session layers so i need to discuss about one more layer uh, one more uh, uh, fourth layer the fourth layer is equivalent to the application of sc7 is defined as the destination of the point code so ocp ocp is the uh, definition of the cross reference of meaning that ocp is the dcp and oop is the dpc they can be both input and output of any of the country telecommunications from the method of even and odd to select type of input and output so i want to get uh, my girlfriend uh, whatsapp chats so is it possible to get uh, you think it's absolutely can get through not by exploits through ss7 so you can monitor their uh, whatsapps uh, everything like uh, instagrams uh, whatever the social networks with the osi model we need to flow these four methods how we need to perform these things so we can get this uh, input and output we can give any type of com commands over across the world uh, to do thing to do these all things this means uh, we, if you can give input and output other of the out output uh, systems uh, the pair of output is uh, uh, signaling is selected and uh, uh, another one is called as a common channel signaling and selected in signal in system the opc signal the bio and then the number of communication leashes become cics in the next step uh, bio voices for the bio voices communications can be established the number of fiber between so the internet will be run through the fiber communications only okay the number of fibers between two systems is equals to the order of two systems is very important it's in 32 to 63 and so on the voice communication is based on the CIC number so I will give you the CIC numbers and uh, everything the mode is changed when moving however another feature is uh, SS is that is not represented in the electronic feature so if she is uh, if uh, any one person is talking over the VOIP or any other things it's not connected to the internet or some other three things so there is another uh, feature for SSS that is not represented by electronic feature but the application layer will be established some of them so here is the uh, yeah. application layer will establish some of them the first one is initial of the IAM initial address messages so i call to one of my friend so it will initialize in the application uh, uh, layer okay in any of the four okay and answers the message so, so i can talking with the, i call my girlfriend i'm talking with the these things some other xyz uh, nonsense things so in with the ss7 tool in the application layer will be monitored with the answers messages whatever i done okay and the cic transmit with the uh, release message and uh, rlc release complete message to the voice path of the cic so it will be stored in the some of the destination folder 
if you use wireshark and uh, some other paid tools you can get it very easily the cic uh, is released on charge by sending the charger to send the vulnerability flow these steps these steps to make a receivers first prepare the following receivers and connect them together make a receivers necessary for the routing process to build a traffic so leoli usb2 we can search Uh, we can search Leoli USB 2 Not this one. Never got this one. So compared to leoli usb2 so we can you can take uh, for in the budget like uh, rtl and sdr so this is the best thing for the doing for the s7 uh, hardware so this is the dongle rtl and sdr uh, this is the best thing for the uh, hacking for calls, mobile interceptions and everything. So you can buy this one from the Amazon. So how it looks like, so you can look it out. A raffle, micro 3 and 4. With this RTL and SDR, you can listen. Uh, like uh, you can listen the basic things. Like uh, you can uh, 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 you can uh, monitor the radio. Like uh, if you are in India, like ninety three point five radio Michi. Okay, you can uh, mute that radio Michi who is in the radio station, and you can talk over there. This is the these things will be happens. Okay, with the RTL and SDS, you can track the ship, you can track the aeroplanes, you can money, you can download the air, airplane uh, uh, stations uh, virtual data, and you can search from you can search from the which plane and which data, and you can uh, you can monitor that uh, in, uh, airport traffic uh, in your phone or in your laptop with this so i can uh, i can tell you more these things about in later like uh, in next tutorial so for this uh, for setting uh, the switches of the module so, so once you get these things so for for, for call communications to get someone calls with the permission only you can perform these attacks without permissions it's uh, based on your risk okay you need to take all your responsibilities after the attack it's own uh, own your responsibilities frequencies so you need to so you stay in uh, um, uh, Delhi okay 
the frequency what uh, you uh, in you stay in delay so what frequencies you need to set for uh, this rtl and sdr so the frequencies is you set for uh, you first install the rtl and sdr once you install the rtl rtl and sdr so it will ask the frequency so first you in, first you go and check the radio frequencies once the radio frequencies will start with the uh, 98.2 9 982.6 Six eight something to nine sixty eight point something. So once you get the clearance audio, okay, then you can switch to the calls and communications over there. Okay, it will give some bandwidth and particular things. For if you want to ex uh, extract some particular things, like some X Y Z person's phone number, there is separate method. Okay. So sample rate with hazard and amount of exploitations output file and the amount of recording per seconds. Okay, so we start with following commands like a dop rtl sdr capture file like nine four two like uh, one uh, ten like abo minus g forty capture file dot key. So this is not. Uh, Compared to RTL SDR, uh, the best tool is Hack or Hack or software device. So, so this is the best tool for uh, best tool for the S seven. so this is the antenna so you get uh, antenna 500 bundle only let's see how pretty this one it's very pretty one great socket gadget Once you have once you have all those tools, so in how and which mode I need to run. Okay, I tell you. The best mode is. The best mode for uh, S7 is the GPU mode, GTP mode. Uh, GSM is uh, not workable for the uh, how you want to get the performance. Only so you can you can take this app also you can uh, get it at get it these applications and you can run through the HackRF one. This is the most better one compared to uh, GSM. It's not working. Go through it very well with the ISMA catcher and everything. So. I can I can run for you as sample test now, okay. Mm. So best one I prefer is Sigploiter.
So we can see here Sigploiter is a signaling and security testing framework. So Sigploit is developed by several versions for S7 attacks for brief uh, introductions of telecom communications. General please check here. Welcome to so you can get a 2G 3G voice of SMS or S7 3G data GTP diameter. So compared to GSM, GTP is most better. So uh, 2G and 3G will be get very easily and 4G diameter and 4G VoIP uh, uh, VoIP service and SIP will get only the government professionals, not for everyone. So we we will look it out back. So we copy this one. Now we look it out small example. So it will be, I, we are cloning the repository now. So we can see um, more other things. So you can see the version of will focus the data roaming attacks for after for IPX and GRX interconnections. So version four is a SIP. This is a version four. We will concern with the SIP for signaling protocol use for access for layer for voice over beta version. So the installation is required for these things. So you need for these all things like Python two point seven maximum Java version need to install the java need to install the sctp tools and uh, uh, s7 will always work only on the linux operating system never think uh, s7 will work on uh, mac os s7 will work on windows no 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 it never work on windows mac os or ubuntu none other thing these things s7 will work only on the linux much more time so we can close this we can look it out another SSL Primary security threats concerning research methodology. So this is this is nonsense book. So we got here. So we enter now. So first of all, we need to install the requirements. So get update. So I will update the system first once upgrade the system now I open another 
का टर्म है सोन का टर्म है वो आई पेस दिस कमेंट यस so it will be in, it already almost installed everything so now what we need to do means we go back to the repository so linux machine we have python 2.7 uh, we look it up now it's already done so we get up there. So it's taking so much time. So begin. Invalid argument. So Python. Oh, it's like this. So Python is already installed. Mm, clear, clear these things now. Java is Node.js. So let me get install Node.js. Okay, sudo su list uh, sudo apt get install java again similar so now we clear these things so it's almost ready we can cd c plot Y Y Y P L O I T O So we enter into the command root directory. So we need to install now requirements. Sudo pip to installments. So pip2 not command found, we can go to pip3. So it take uh, 5 to 10 minutes for the installing the all requirements. So stp is installed, failed to build the py stp. So we are getting some error. Running install, build python, copying stcp, build. Give some error list. It's giving error. So we can beat our version six point one location is the same place one. So we can run this in local command prompt. So 
so this is seven yeah list We are getting somewhat errors. Um, Kali. So this is uh, which I have. This is uh, open with And with ideal default, It's taking some more time so we can look it out some other things so how this ss7 will look it out and more the other things So this is the video how the S7 will work, I show you now here. Sick loiter. So the sick loiter will be done here. Once done the sick loiter, so we execute with the pip2 install minus r requirement requirements dot txt. So it will require the txt files and everything. So it takes some more time. So once it's installed, okay, you can see creating build Linux everything here. So this is uh, this is I done in the past video. So now you need to enter the command. So you can try here same command. Python. Python no, it's getting. I don't know why this 2021 operating system is not working for this. So you got here Python Cploit. So we got here S7. So you can see here we can get S7 2Z and 3Z voice and SMS attacks. GDP GDP with 3Z or 4Z data attractions attacks and uh, diameters 4Z data attacks and uh, SIP 4J 
ISMI attacks. So we need for this now hack RF1 hardware. So for this, so I will show you now that how it will perform now. So we saw in the past, uh, past RTL and SDR and uh, hack RF1 and everything. So both are same like RTL and SDS are both are same. So you can uh, track the reasoning or uh, SMS and captures. Uh, who no have budgets you can buy the RTL and STR if you have budget you can buy the hack RF1 so I prefer you most uh, who want to do SS7 uh, learn, learning for these things so buy most things uh, the hack RF1 better so you can live broadcast hack uh, live TVs broadcast and uh, boats and everything you can do ships across the world so now you can see the these things introducers and everything so you can see now send the routing info location tracking and everything uh, how it works and providing subscribers info reliable locations tracking sending routing infos and sms is not applied for the run twice to check anti interaction sending through anywhere fraud uh, or info gathering dos so you can see more so you need to set up this after you getting like a, a set first you need to set the value of options and displace everything so here is the command values so i will show you here become client pc from the local host to the server pc client ip address client port address server port address you can put like this So we can look it out now this cycloid here will work or not. List equals dot minus r required dot txt. So we can yeah it's already satisfied it's installing now. By STP, it's uh, it's almost uh, satisfied all these things. So we can list now Python. We can we can first always go search and work as seek ploid that Python Python seek ploid. So it's not satisfying Python. Python 2. Yeah, we got here. Now we can look it out here. Rosalia D Alessandro D zero grade. So this is a beta version authored by Los Rito. So here is the S7 tool. So for this you need hack or a fun device. So once you get the hacker of one device, so you can interrupt with the 2G and 3G voice SMS attacks and GDPs, diameters, 4G diameter attacks, 4G ISM attacks. So we can see this zero now S7. So with S7, so if I want to track with uh, some my girlfriend location, so I can track with the location. So number one calls. So I want to listen my girlfriend who she is talking with someone else. I want to know, see her phone. So with this SS7 you can see this fraud things. So it's thousand times it's illegal things to check opponent data without permissions. You can take permissions, you can check with SS7 or uh, how the way you can check, you can check it out. And DOS. So we can, we can see number one calls and SMS. Okay. So uh, now Steal the SMS in interceptions. So the steal the uh, 
SMS in interceptions. How this will work? In the past PDF, I show the tower and bridge and the mobile interruption. So first, I click on update the location. So once I go for update the locations, uh, intercepting. So I can click on help. So I need to uh, set. No, no. Mm. Click on now uh, show options. So I need to input all these things which I get in the hacker f1 device with the IP address and server address. The server address is hacker f1 which will give you here you need to install the once you install the router okay you will get a uh, uh, config so you can get he, get it here uh, hacker f1 ip address also somewhat some cases once you get you need to enter over here the server ip address client address port address everything once you enter then you can start the attacking so then go go back. Exit. Yes. So I can click now back. So we see the calls and locations also same on the DOS also huge subscriber DOS from the off of the network so you can you can put the DOS also DOS targeting select the client PC so client PC is now 192.168.0.102 so now I know how I hack I have device so uh, Java I never installed the Java so that's what the error I got so Huge DOS attack. Set a client PC. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one zero two. So this is what happens. Uh, we can look it out back and uh, fraud and info gathering. So we can look it out too. So. ISMEI, we discuss about ISMEI, MTF, forward SMS, SMS facing and souping with S7, it's very easier. So, insert subscri uh, subscriber data. So, I'm the subscriber of AT&T, so my family is under subscriber of AT&T, so I can... Uh, uh, look it out the profile and manipulations also I subscribe uh, yearly uh, I I use yearly like uh, one TV database from the AD&T so I can modify this one TV to 100 TV simple with SSL send authentication info uh, validations so with this we can send authentications everything whatever we want you can come back location tracking is very easy so providing subscribers info sending routing info so I told you a, a, a past like how you get so once you get uh, full info with the hacker f1 id router ip address and everything so you can get the longitude and longitude address and you can put in the google maps so you can come back ss7 is over now GDP GDP is GDP version 1 so I told you 3z attacks okay 3z attacks will every hacker will be performed this every pen tester have a legal authority with the permissions or some organizations can able to perform this type of attacks okay to test the network communications on these things but without permissions you won't perform these attacks without permissions if cellular data is uh, get leaked you are 
if you use VPN okay don't use don't trust those VPNs build your own secure secure VPNs okay I use 911 I use uh, uh, Express VPN I use uh, these and all bullshit things it never be this profile okay if I have ADMT okay when I sell a lot network things I can monitor I can do everything I can the AT&T is lost around 30, 30 million USD dollars the AT&T will pay to the uh, all uh, uh, VPN providers uh, some extra commissions okay the VPN providers will leak your database and you get big fuck from the <sighs> big nonsense things from the other things okay like uh, police case this all these things so once we come to the 4G data attacks this will be used only for the government purpose of attacks so I will show you 4G attacks how it will be possible so you can search for information gathering so GDP more for discovering so you can search for GDP, GDP means geo, geo transportation protocol so net discovery net discovery means you can ask here help so you can run here so first of all we run no config file is provided so you need to provide first of all config files so uh, if you stay in California you can provide the all California local IP address and you can track the GTP modes and everything even it will give you the uh, live visual mode things like a CC footage okay so you can come back and back now go to the diameter 4G data attacks so this diameter is required the hardware tool so you need mustn't shoot for this hardware tool the diameter is up to date for SIP SIP is going to be so everything we will do in these two steps in the diameter in the S7 and GTP so this will be most enough enough for the S7 so thank you for watching have a nice day if you have any queries you can com uh, comment me in the below so have a grateful day we look it out in another video uh, please uh, comment me in the uh, in the box uh, so what type of tutorials you want so based on the tutorials I can do it for you so thank you for watching have a great day